What should businesses realistically expect from generative AI? Right. And this is a great question. And, and I'm sure a lot of people have heard about generative AI and a lot of people are looking to see how they can incorporate it in their daily life, right? One thing that we have found with a lot of our clients is we have now gone past this uh, hype cycle where we would say that everybody was talking and there was a lot of buzz around it. But now we are in that place where we are, there is a bit of disillusionment that has happened with investments. People have done a lot of things with Gen AI. They've tried a few things, uh, tried to find out problems that can be solved with Gen AI and have been disappointed a bit. Yeah. Where we are going to right now is where businesses are now saying that they just don't want to do, they want to find real value. This is where what we have gone with is trying to understand how we can go with simple pilots, very quick turnaround pilots, take it and make it a bite-sized uh, implementation and see whether that is able to generate the value, right? If, are we able to generate an insight? Are we able to create a tangible improvement in the process? before we scale that out. So rapid prototyping or rapid learn, test and learn, failing and uh, retooling actually helps a lot in this case. And there are a lot of businesses that have been actually doing pretty well with generative AI. I've heard about L'Oreal using a generative AI for trend analysis, right? They have been looking at generative AI to help with trend spotting. Walmart uses it for product recommendations. eBay, for example, uses generative AI to help the sellers write descriptions. Uh, in fact, if you go to LinkedIn now, you can see that almost every post has questions and prompts which are generative AI based, right? So there are companies that are looking at very interesting ways by which they can give intelligence back or give better intelligence back to customers or use that better intelligence back into their decision processes. But the real point is to make sure that you run very quick experiments, test it, and learn from uh, where the tests are not uh, working out and then improve the process before rolling it out in a large fashion. And I think that has helped us in quite a few instances where we are able to show these rapid prototypes, show the value and then scale them. Uh, clients really see the benefits of that.